Hello, my name is Shelley Fairplay and I'm a harpist based in South Wales in the United Kingdom. And this is a little mini documentary video to share with you something wonderful that I'm so proud of that has happened, not only since the beginning of 2020, but also going right back to 2013. This is a video about Dynamic Harps and then the Dynamic Harps Virtual Harp Ensemble. So back in 2013, the Dynamic Harp Ensemble launched and actually it began in Cardiff as a community ensemble where the harp is the national instrument. So it's the National Instrument of Wales. And we had a children ensemble and then we had an adult learners ensemble as well. And it's, it, was, it was always been a really supportive group where fellow harp enthusiasts come together to share the joy of music making, to inspire one another, to support one another in friendship and in joy, to play concerts together, to improve together, to just love all things harp and it's wonderful. The children's group has always focused mostly on pop and jazz and film and show and upbeat kind of an alternative to what the exam system used to mostly offer actually it's changing and evolving all the time which is also wonderful and we also love playing Celtic and traditional and music of all genres lots of classical as well so we really have a mixture of styles I think I always had a desire I always knew that it wasn't I always felt that it wasn't enough for me to be able to offer my students one-to-one -one lessons I always knew that I also wanted to be able to offer the power of ensemble of being inspired by those that you know knew more than you and being able to help students who perhaps didn't, hadn't learned as long as you and to just be able to hear your sound layered up and in the wonderful way that is so special and unique when you're not playing on your own and so I started in a village hall with my students you know every now and then we'd meet up I also worked in a harp shop for many years thank you Ellen Vining telling my Vining harps and finally Dynamic Harps was born when I moved moved slightly out of town and we became a, a regular meet then we began with just six adult members and three students, but I was determined. And actually at the point of lockdown, we were 24 strong with three ensembles going when we stopped our face-to-face -face sessions. We went to, we did all sorts of things. We performed at the National Botanic Garden of Wales yearly. We went to um, to France to play at the Harpo Marx Festival in Anceny. We did, uh, we played at St. Fagans National History Museum. We have played at the Swansea Waterfront Museum. We played at the Wild Strings Pop and Jazz Festival in Manchester. The list goes on it's been incredible all those live sessions and it's exciting it's exciting to see how much that helps everyone develop as an ensemble you know it helps everybody really pull together and work hard and then have that sort of uh, feeling of, 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 of commitment and sharing in 2020 of course the world changed for everyone and the dynamic harps ensemble had to move online and we decided that we were moving online anyway so why not invite the rest of the world to join us <laughs> so we invited harpists from across the globe to anybody who wanted to to come and join us once a week to share the joy of harp music and this was an incredible moment in time where harpists all around the world were signing up to come and join us, turning up weekly, supporting one another. We just played harps together and we've created some wonderful collaboration videos. I remember sitting down to record the very first collaboration video and it was really hard. It was so emotional that all the the energy from everybody and the, the power of bringing everyone together with layered videos, the collaboration video seeing everyone on screen and actually hearing everyone on screen for the first time all together playing was just very very powerful and I'm so proud of everyone that's taken part in any of those collaboration videos that we've done because they've taken a lot of work and you have risen to the challenge every time. I think it was probably the first live session if not it was the second one right at the beginning of the lockdowns when we can I can't wait. I know we can't do it now and maybe I don't know when we're going to be able to do it, but we are going to have a version of this where are we going to project everybody on the wall who is around the world and we're going to have the in-person ensemble, anyone who can come live, playing in a room together and we're going to have a hybrid event, although I don't even know that I knew the word hybrid event at that time, and we're going to play together and it took nearly two years to come into fruition and when it did it was very magical and again very powerful. There was a lovely energy in the room, there was an excitement in the Zoom room as well and it was just a beta test. We're going to do this again guys, I mean it's incredible. It was just wonderful. Thank you everybody again who took part in that.
Dynamic Harps Ditty. So this was one of the first tunes I wrote in lockdown for, and this was very much especially for the Dynamic Harps Ensemble. In fact, they called it the Dynamic Harps Ditty for the Ensemble, but it had a subtitle which was Alone Together. Even when I hear it now, it kind of gets me here because it just was something that we played at the end of the sessions generally, just to have that kind of really happy and upbeat feeling so we would come away feeling hopefully uplifted. Dream. So this is a lullaby, so you're going to hear at the very beginning you hear the, a very famous little motif from a very famous lullaby, I'm sure you're going to recognise that, and then it has just a little gentle tune that goes through, there are some little rippling harp arpeggios for sort of the more intermediate to advanced players to play, and then there's a very nice sort of falling bass line for the fledgling players, so again it works multi-layer, which is something I'm passionate about in the ensemble, it's bringing together all levels. And the tune itself was written for I think the second online heart weekend that I put out during the uh, I think this one went out in 2021 and the part of it was that we had a story for children one of my big big things is trying to make heart sort of as accessible for all ages and, and all um, you know whatever your genre that you like and so this was part of the children's came became part of the children's story called Henry's Dream where in fact the the lullaby which we need is written for a hedgehog. So the hedgehog falls asleep inside the harp and so this is Henrietta's dream for the hedgehog. So this is a really jolly little tune called The Leopard Leaps in Sight. And when you hear it, you might think it is reminiscent of a tune. <laughs> so this is actually written for my online pop course for harpists to learn about playing pop on the harp. And again, I love doing this kind of sort of lively music on the harp because playing traditional music and classical music is gorgeous and fits and is a known wonderful thing on the harp and it's then fun sometimes to just put in something slightly different. So you're going to hear we learn to do a slightly different, uh, well, a slightly uh, rhythmic bass line I guess to go along with it and we had soloists when we did it in the room at the hybrid event so you're going to hear hy hybrid, you hear people from um, I think America certainly and then from Wales playing together at the beginning. It's just a little jolly, a little jolly pop number. So take it away, Dynamic Hearts.
So Whispers of Tomorrow. This was one of the Patreon tunes, so every month I put out a new sheet music on Patreon, and Whispers of Tomorrow is a pentatonic based tune actually, so it offers space for improvisation at the beginning and the end, or in the middle, or wherever the player wants to put it. So it's a flexible little little tune. And in the ensemble, when we did the hybrid event, what we did is we went around the room so that we could alternate between the people who were global, wherever they were, whether they were in Europe or wherever around the world you were playing from, to the students who were in the room who had travelled from different parts of the UK to come, and obviously lots from Cardiff and South Wales as well. And so you hear, you'll hear a little bit of alternating going around the room on the pentatonic improvisation, which would be pre the main tune. It's interesting because this piece, Whispers of Tomorrow, was just really meant, it's meant to be full of hope, Whispers of Tomorrow, just hoping for a better future for, for everyone, and there we are, so Whispers of Tomorrow, let's wish that for everybody. So what's next for Dynamic Harps? Well, 
at the moment of making this video here, while I'm talking, we are about to go back to some in-person sessions, which I'm very excited about. There's going to be a daytime and an evening one. And of course, with the online ensemble, the community, the friendship, the support, the joy, the beauty of that is just too much to stop right now. So at this moment in time, we're going to keep on meeting once a month, ladies and gentlemen. So keep coming. We're going to have, there's another virtual event, another hybrid event that's in the pipeline. There's also a retreat for 2023 being worked on. Who knows where this will take us next? So I can't wait to get back to seeing the in-person ensemble, in person. I cannot wait to continue seeing the online ensemble, online. I cannot wait to continue working on how we're going to improve and change and develop working as a hybrid group. And I cannot wait to hopefully see even more of you in person in 2023 and perhaps beyond in a retreat. It's exciting, it's powerful, it's beautiful. I want to thank everybody that's been involved. I want to thank every family member that has supported anyone with their time at the harp working on some of our projects. I want to, of course, thank my family, particularly Richard Crompton, for all of his help and support. I'd love to thank Chris Potter, who has worked on, on the collaboration videos with us and has also created this documentary for you. I'd like to thank Guy Johnson, who always has helped me on sound and has helped me with the album that went out in 2022, 2021. And it's just been amazing to be able to work in this way. So Dynamic Harps, we are here to stay in many ways. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Shelley, based in South Wales. Hi, I'm Alicia from the US. Hi, I'm Nikki from South Wales. Hi, I'm Betsy from the US. Hi, I'm Emily from South Wales. Hi, I'm Carolyn from Kansas. Hi, I'm Jill from Mid Wales. Hi, I'm Nicola from Germany. Hi, I'm Gwenda from South Wales. Hi, I'm Emily from Melbourne, California. Hello, I'm Clarissa from Bristol, England. Hi, I'm Felicity from Scotland. Hi, I'm Mike from South Staffordshire, England. Hi, I'm Hills from Germany. Hi, I'm Hazel from West Wales. Hi, I'm Jean from Pennsylvania, US. Hi, I'm Mary, I'm from Colchester in the UK. Hi, I'm Judy from Edmonton, Canada. Hello, I'm Frances from South Wales. Hi, I'm June from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hello, I'm Barbara from South Wales. Hi, I'm Catherine from Hi, I'm Rosie from Staffordshire. Hi, I'm Laura from Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, I'm Lorraine from Colchester, Illinois. Hi, I'm Barbara from Shropshire. Good morning, hello. My name is Mary and I'm in Dorset at the present, but I'm in South Wales. Hi, I'm Pat from South Wales, Swansea. Hi, I'm Sue from the UK. Are we all here? Proud of this ensemble for being able to come together and to share and to push perfectionism and concerns and stresses out of the way when they're playing and just to be able to share whether we are complete fledglings we've only had three heart lessons right through to intermediate right through to even advanced players people who can improvise and add in extra lines on their own even we had professionals join us during the initial lockdown we all just needed that time to be together and to share and so it's just very very powerful really in the words of Deborah Henson Collins we were about connection not perfection and it's a beautiful beautiful thing thank you